I don't feel so good. Scion, and I'm going to attach the EKG leads. My monitor has limb leads, so I'm going to attach the four limb leads. And on the monitor, I am seeing what appears to be sinus bradycardia. Now, my patient is an unstable patient, and I can't get venous access on him. So I want to look towards transcutaneous pacing. So I want to contact medical control to see if I can get an analgesic or a sedative to give to him to help with the discomfort of the procedure. Now it's very important to explain to the patient what you're going to do. Tom, uh -huh. do you know what a pacemaker is? Well, what I would like to do is kind of like what a pacemaker does. Your heart is going a little slower than it should be, and that's why you feel so bad. So what I would like to do is speed up your heart rate. Now, it's going to be a little uncomfortable, but hopefully we can get some pain medications to you, and you know, it won't be such a discomfort. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. So I have permission from the patient to continue. Now, I have my quick combo pads. And I want to make sure that the sites that I'm going to place it on, they're dry and they're clear, which they appear to be. I am pacing this patient and with these pads per manufacturer all pads are different but I can place them in the same spot as if I was defibrillating the patient. Okay, now that I have the pads in the correct location, I want to make sure that I'm hooking the pads up to the monitor. Okay, make sure that it's hooked correctly, Oops. following the right wire, which it does. So, now I'm all set to pace. If I got permission to give medication, I might think about getting medication now, or we can get it after we start pacing. So I'm going to go straight to pacer, entering manual mode. Now the rate for my protocol that I follow is 80 beats per minute. So I have the rate set at 80. And for the current, I continue going up until I see capture. I see the spikes, but I, oh, okay. So now that I have capture, I hit that. So the most important thing to do is, after I see it on the monitor that there's capture, I want to check the pulse to make sure I'm actually feeling 80 beats per minute. So I'll check that for the correct amount of time. And it's also important to get vital signs every five minutes on this patient because this is an unstable patient. And I want to also assess the patient's response to the treatment. It's very important. So 
after the call, I want to make sure I document the, the rate, the time, the current that I set up the pacing at, document the patient's reaction, and any other pertinent information to the call. got my BSI on. So I have my BSI on. I have my BSI on. I got my BSI on. I got my BSI on. Got my BSI on. So I'm going to attach my EKG. <laughs> <laughs> At least my hair looks good. <laughs> At least your hair looks awesome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. I'm dying in the back of an ambulance, but my hair looks righteous. <laughs> Alright. So I have my BSI on, and now I'm going to attach the EKG leads. Now, since my monitor are limb leads, I'm going to attach the limb leads. So my four limb leads are attached, and on the monitor, I am seeing sinus tachycardia. We can't do that. <laughs> I want to get my quick pads. Where are they? Where are the pads? They were over there. <laughs> Yay! I got, oh sorry, I got. <laughs> How you doing, Dom? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> you know, I was thinking as I was ripping these off, if this happens, don't use the pads. Oh, I'll to count. <laughs> okay. Looking at the monitor, it is showing me sinus bradycardia. Now, this patient is. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> okay, quick.